So we saw in the previous video that if we are not in a position to reduce the size of the keys to 32 bits, we have another option that is why not increase the size of the RPT from 38 bits to 48 bits. And that is what we are going to do. Okay, so let's start this discussion of expansion permutation in detail. So this is how an expansion permutation step looks like in uh, much detail or granularity. If you see that the 32 bits RPT is nothing but it is divided into uh, eight blocks with each block consisting of four bits. So if we say that each block consists of four bits over here. So what happens is these four bit blocks are occupying eight rows. So in total, it is 32 bits in size. As we all know that all the operations are going to be performed on the RPT. This RPT goes inside the function block and the key is provided to it so that we get a 32 bit output. This is what we have been uh, understanding so far. This is what we have seen so far. So what exactly happens is this 32 bit RPT has to be encrypted using this 48 bit key, which is not possible otherwise. So what we are going to do is we are going to increase the size of this RPT from 32 to 48. And for that, we have to make some additions to those 32 bits. So we all know if we want to convert a 32 bit value to a 48 bit value, we need to add 16 more bits. And where are the 16 bits present? These bits are not added randomly. We have to follow certain algorithm. And this algorithm is nothing but depicted as the diagram in front of you. So what exactly happens is these 32 bits are divided further into uh, eight blocks of four bits each. So as you can see over here, these are nothing but eight different blocks of four bits each. So what exactly we are doing is we are copying four bits from the original block into a new block, which is initially empty. We are copying the first, second, third and fourth value of that block into the second, third, fourth and fifth positions. The remaining positions that is one and six are going to be filled using a certain pattern. And what is this pattern you are going to see just now. Similarly, in the next block, that is block number two, we are going to copy bit number five, six, seven and eight into positions eight, nine, 10 and 11 respectively. Similarly, seven and 12 are going to be filled using a pattern. This particular process goes on Till position number 29, 30, 31 and 32, which are copied into 44, 45, 46 and 47 respectively. So now let me discuss how the values 1, 6, 7, 12 and so on are filled. That is nothing but this particular value is going to be copied into this position and so on. So that is what we have seen just now, but I am just showing you a different perspective of this entire diagram. So if a table makes things easier for you to understand, you can make use of the table. If you are comfortable with a diagram, something like this, you can make use of the diagram. There is simply a point to note over here is this value and this value. So what happens is the last value of the last row is copied to the first value of the new row. Similarly, the first value of the old row is copied into the last value of the new row. That is what we have just now seen. Fine. So that is what expansion permutation is all about. And at the end of this step, we will get an expanded RPT. That is a 32 bit RPT will now become a 48 bit RPT. So it expands to a 48 bit value. Why we are doing this? It is very simple. As you can see that we cannot encrypt a 48 bit key with a 32 bit RPT. So for that purpose, we are going to make use of expansion permutation.